Matthew 10. Whoever welcomes you welcomes me. And whoever welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. Whoever welcomes a prophet in the name of a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. And whoever welcomes a righteous person in the name of a righteous person will receive the reward of the righteous. And whoever gives even a cup of cold water to one of these little ones in the name of a disciple, truly I tell you, none of these will lose their reward. El quien te recibe... El quien te recibe, a mí me recibe, y el quien te recibe a mí, recibe el quien me envió. El que te recibe a un profeta, en nombre de profeta, recompensa de profeta recibirá. Y el que recibe a un justo, de nombre de un justo, recibirá recompensa de los justos. Y cualquiera que, de aunque sea un vaso de agua frío, a uno de esos pequeños, en nombre de discípulo, De cierto, o digo que ninguno de estos perderá su recompensa. I love this one line that says, and he who even gives a little kid a glass of water will surely not lose their reward. That's all it takes sometimes. It doesn't always have to be a big heroic thing, right? So just this week I was actually thinking about that and I came across this website um, that is honoring, get this, Everyday Heroes, and that's where I got my title from, Everyday Heroes. Justo esta semana, mientras pensaba en estas palabras, me encontré con este sitio web que rinde homenaje a los héroes contendianos. Ordinary people, ordinary people like you and me who do nice things for others, like, like going shopping for them, you know, while they're um, um, uh, quarantined, like Matt and Sana were, and like, like, Antonio and, and Jose were in like like you were Dennis as well yeah uh, or volunteer uh, at a homeless shelter that that you know are in soup kitchens helping out in nursing homes or the pick up trash for somebody whatever it may be personas ordinarias que hicieron algo bueno por los demás como ir de compras para personas que están en cuarentena trabajar como voluntarios en refugios para personas sin hogar Comedores de beneficencia, residencias de ancianos, o recoger la basura, etc. And that's exactly what Jesus is talking about here in this passage from Matthew 10. It's, it's, it's just about being kinder to other people, to one another. The, the world would be such a happier and better place if we could just take these words and put them into practice. No es un ejemplo perfecto de lo que Jesús está diciendo. Si todos empezáramos a ser un poco más amables los unos con los otros, este mundo sería un lugar más feliz y pacífico. And again, it doesn't take a huge effort to do this. Like it doesn't even have to take a, an extreme bravery uh, to do that. Jesus welcoming another person who sends God sends your way just helping a, like a, somebody across the street, you know, that classic example. Or just, like Jesus says, giving a cup of water, just offering water to somebody. That's, that's what we're talking about here. Y fíjate que según las palabras de Jesús, no hace falta un gran esfuerzo. No hace falta un acto de extrema valentía para mostrar un gesto de amabilidad. Es el simple hecho de acoger a otra persona que Dios te envía, de ayudar a un ciego a parar un taxi, de dar un vaso de agua a un niño, te da enormes recompensas. Whatever you take away from this message, remember this. Superheroes not necessarily needed, just everyday heroes. No se necesita neces necesariamente superhéroes, solo héroes cotidianos. So I'd like to show you an excerpt of a film that um, I think most of us have seen, The Hobbit. And in this um, excerpt, Gandalf uh, talks about why he took this very ordinary and kind of blah Hobbit along on his journey to defeat evil. And this hobbit was Bilbo, what's his name again? 
Baggins, right? Yeah, <laughs> Bilbo Baggins, you know. So, so why is this elf asks him, why did you take this guy? Why did you take this Hobbit along? And his answer is astounding. So pay attention to this. <laughs> you may have to turn up the volume. On the. and love keeps the evil at bay is what he says and I'm afraid I took uh, Bilbo Baggins along because he gives me courage an everyday person again superheroes not necessarily needed just everyday heroes that's us folks that's us so it is interesting it is interesting that it's often harder to show little gestures of kindness than to do the really heroic thing. In one of my wedding speeches, I ask each wedding party, bride and the groom, whether they would be willing to take a bullet for their partner. And the answer, most of the time, is yes. No, actually, all of the time. 100% <laughs> of the time. <laughs> When I asked this question, would you take a bullet for your partner? The answer was always yes. And then I said, well, that's wonderful. And uh, it's a testimony to your great love. <laughs> Me da curiosidad que a menudo sea más difícil mostrar pequeños gestos de amabilidad que realizar actos heroicos. En uno de mis discursos de boda, pregunto a cada uno de los novios si estarán dispuestos a recibir un balazo para par su pareja y ambos responden con una entusiasmidad sí por supuesto esto es maravilloso y un testimonio de su gran amor and then I follow up this question with another question I say okay tell me this if your partner asks you to do a daily chore like taking out the trash or picking up milk at the grocery store would you be willing to do that without grumbling? Y luego sigo con esta pregunta. Dime esto. Si tu pareja te pide que hagas una tarea diaria, sacar la basura o recoger la leche en el supermercado, ¿estarás dispuesto a hacerlo sin refurbunar? And it became very quiet. Nobody wanted to answer that one because we all know that is not necessarily something we enjoy doing but this is what this message is all about it's about the little things we do the little kindness we do without grumbling and in love that makes us everyday heroes the truth is that it is often easier for us human beings to show grand heroic gestures than to small those little tiny gestures of kindness Ask, ask me to rescue a baby from a burning building and I'll jump right in. But ask me to take out the trash and I'll likely complain about it and whine about it. La verdad es que nos hace, se nos resulta más fácil a los seres humanos mostrar grandes gestos heroicos que pequeños gestos de bondad en la rutina de la vida cotidiana. Pídeme que rescate a un bebé de un edificio en llamas y me pronde en acción. Pídame que saque la basura y es probable que me queje. So true. <laughs> but what a difference it can make if we become just kinder people, if we become everyday heroes. Pero qué diferencia podemos marcar si nos convirtiemos en personas más amables y en héroes, héroes cotidianos. So, I've told this story before, but I'm going to tell it again because I love the story. It's, it's a perfect illustration to Jesus asking us to give water to even the child. 
So um, this is the story of St. Mark, United Methodist Church in Atlanta, Georgia. And I actually went to this church and that's where I heard that story. And um, a long time ago, it was a dying church. Only a few older folks were still attending it at that time. Every year, the Pride Parade went right past their doors. Mi historia favorita con respecto a poner en práctica las palabras de Jesús sobre ofrecer un vaso de agua es de la iglesia de San Marcos de Atlanta. Marx era una iglesia morbibonda, a lo que solo asistían un pocos ancianos. Todos los años, el desfile de orgullo pasa por delante de esta iglesia un domingo por la mañana. So, during one of those parades, which happened to be on a Sunday, about 25 years ago, the minister um, of the church saw that the church across the street from them, so there were the, was a Baptist church right across the street, had put guards in place so that the queer folks couldn't enter their church building. Abhorred by the display of such hostility, the minister asked his congregation to counter that by opening up the church doors, all of them, and offering cups of water to those who would come in and wanted to refresh themselves. Durante de unos de esos desfiles hace unos 25 años, El nuevo pastor de la iglesia vio que la iglesia de enfrente había puesto guardias para impedir que entraran ninguna marica, obreciendo por la muestra de hostilidad. El ministro pidió a sus feligreses que contrataron abriendo las puertas de la iglesia y ofreciendo los vasos de aguas al que quiera que pasara por ahí. It just so happened that on that day. A reporter was in the crowd and this reporter wrote an article on the tale of the two churches and it became known that St. Mark United Methodist Church was welcoming queer folks and I'm here to testify because I've been to that church, I've spoken there, that this church is very much vital and has grown. It's a huge church now because they gave a cup of water to the people in the street. Un periodista tomó nota de esta historia de dos iglesias y escribió una, un artículo. Mark se dio a conocer como una iglesia gay friendly y creció hasta convertirse de una de las más mayores de la región, mientras que la iglesia conservada de enfrente acabó siendo derrabada. Friends, we must understand that the power of kindness, the power of little gestures of kindness, there is a dynamic in it that can change this world. The force is so powerful because it's contagious and it can grow into something huge. Acts of kindness and compassion will bring change in this world and, and hope and, and it will lead to a, a more peaceful and a more just world. Los héroes contendianos muestran pequeños gestos de amabilidad y con estos pequeños gestos podemos hacer de este mundo un lugar mucho mejor. Amigos, debemos entrar, entender el poder de la amabilidad. Hay una fuerza en los pequeños actos de bondad que se extiende por todo el mundo. Esta fuerza es tan poderosa porque es contagiosa y puede, puede crecer hasta convertirse en algo enorme. Los actos de bondad y compasión traen el cambio y la esperanza y conducieron a un mundo más pacífico y justo. Amen. Amen. Amen.